Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the 2006 Pascal. Uh, we've been going through it for quite a bit, and we are up to question number 17. So, in the diagram, point E lies on the line segment AB, and triangles AED and BEC are isosceles, which we can tell from the uh, 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 scored lines here. Uh, one score on each tells me that the AD and DE are equal, and the double scoring over here, CE and EB, are equal. Okay. Also, angle DEC, DEC, so this bigger sort of outside the triangle -y angle, is twice ADE, so the apex of this isosceles triangle. Okay. Uh, what is the size of angle EBC? So one of the duplicated angles in, in this isosceles triangle here. Now we're not given any lengths, so I think we're just going to have to follow some angles around. We have one angle relationship, and we also are given an explicit angle here. DAE is 70. So I'm just going to copy down the pictures and, and talk my way through this one. It was A, no, A was down here, because it was A, B that we had. A, B is the line. E was a point on the line, so D's got to be up here, and C's got to be over here. Okay. So I know I've got 70 degrees. Now, because it's isosceles, uh, opposite uh, angles opposite the same length must themselves be equal. So we get 70 degrees here. This is a new extra piece of information we've got. And we've got the full triangle here, ADE. So the sum of the angles must be 180. Well, I see 70. I see another 70. That accounts for 140. So we could do a calculation and realize this is 40 degrees up here. Okay. So that fully uh, describes one of these triangles. Now, if we go back and take a look, DEC is twice ADE. Well, I know what ADE is now, and twice that is going to be 80 degrees. Okay. So I got 70, 80, and what's the other thing that adds up to 180 degrees? Why, it's a full line. So this angle down here, plus 70 plus 80, must be 180, and we can quickly calculate. We get 30 degrees here. And now the angle in question, which I'm going to denote by x, uh, it's going to have to be the same one each time because we've got an isosceles triangle. So I know that 2x plus 30 must be equal to 180. 2x has got to be 150, or x, the angle that I'm worried about, is 75. Okay. So we look up uh, 75, and that is the very first one. It's a. And that finishes off question number 17 rather nicely. So join me in the next video as we continue our Pascal paper and look at question number 18. See if you can do it uh, on your own before watching the next video. I'll see you guys there.